Thank you. Contact tracing apps, a silver bullet against the virus. Today, there is no evidence that apps can contain a disease, but there are serious fundamental rights concerns, and therefore the app must be truly voluntary, no incentives to using them, and no discrimination against people not willing to use it or cannot use it. The entry into a country should not depend on using the app. Freedom of movement is a fundamental right, not a price for downloading an app. And apps must only be used for contact tracing with no access for commercial players or law enforcement and data should be stored in a decentral way. This is important because, especially in exceptional times, interference with fundamental rights must remain proportionate, necessary and limited in time. And governments now have a chance to show that Europe can lead the way in countering this pandemic without compromising in fundamental rights. So why is it that only few member states fully involve their data protection authorities? What are they afraid of? And we can't accept any ideas to install systems of surveillance via contact tracing apps, but also by using location data, drones, or by openly debating to discriminate on the basis of so-called immunity passes. Let's be honest, there is nothing like a silver bullet. Even a fundamental rights-friendly app can only be an addition to physical distancing, masks and more tests. So technologies and the crisis should never be used to destroy our common values and democratic principles. But let us explore how technology can help to better protect people. Thank you.